tips, tricks, hacks, life hacks, pointers, suggestions, advice, things that make you say what and why. I don't know what to call this video, but here are 10 of my most recent ones in one video. To quickly weigh out your peanut butter, all you have to do is take your kitchen scale, throw it on grams, put your peanut butter on top of it, zero it out with the tear button, and scoop or eat your peanut butter till it says negative however many grams you want. I ate one serving today, which would be negative 32 grams. You can quickly shape your foil or even parchment paper by simply wrapping it around the outside edges first rather than pressing it in. Not only is this quicker, it's guaranteed to save you from doing that, which ultimately will save you some time and money. Did you know that most newer dishwashers have two clamps on the side of the top rack to either raise or lower it, which will allow you to fit bigger things into it, like a blender or food processor. You can easily thicken up your milkshakes, smoothies, dressings, mixes, and so on by using a little xanthan gum. For most recipes, I'll start with a fourth a teaspoon and go from there. Add it into whatever you need to thicken up, mix, blend, or shake it, and watch the magic happen. On a nutritional label, the ingredients are listed in the order of which they appear most in the item. For example, in this peanut butter, you have roasted peanuts, sugar, palm oil, and salt. If it didn't have peanuts listed first in peanut butter, then you might want to question what you're eating. Now with sugar being the second ingredient, it may also tell you that you could likely find a peanut butter with lower or even no sugar added. Use this to your advantage to easily cut down on specific ingredients or by making sure what's advertised is actually what's listed. Unlike most fruit snacks, which can have corn syrup and or sugar as the main ingredients. All you need to quickly portion out a meal prep recipe is a cheap kitchen scale like this. To do this, take out something to put your entire recipe in, put that something onto your kitchen scale. Bring your scale back to zero by hitting the tear button, then add in your entire recipe. From here, you'll take that number, which is the total weight of the recipe, simply divide it by however many servings you want. You don't have a tear button, you can just write down how much your container weighs and subtract that from the total weight. With your serving size weight, you can either portion it out as you go day by day or portion it out right then and there into meal prep containers. If you don't have one of these scales, I'll throw a link to mine in the description below. You can easily peel hard boiled eggs with one of these, a shaker bottle. All you need to do to do this is to add your hard boiled egg and a little water into your shaker bottle. Close it off and shake it up for five to 10 seconds. If you did it right, you should end up with a perfectly peeled hard boiled egg. Let me know your favorite way to peel your hard boiled eggs in the comments below. You can quickly calculate the total calories energy in most items. One gram of protein is four calories. One gram of carbohydrates is four calories. One gram of fat is nine calories. And one gram of alcohol is seven calories. Although this isn't always 100% accurate, it's the easiest and a great reference point to building rapport with brands you may be unfamiliar with. If the total calories end up being off a ton, you might want to reconsider what you're actually eating. To make homemade oat flour, all you need to do is blend or process your rolled oats till they look like flour. If you have a food processor, you can make your own homemade almond flour or almond meal in less than a minute. To do this, you simply add in your almonds and process them by pulsing rather than turning your processor on. As you pulse them, you'll want to make sure to scrape down the sides every 5 to 10 seconds. Once it starts to look like your almond flour or meal, stop pulsing unless you want some almond butter. Oh, and the difference between almond flour and almond meal would just be from the type of almond you're using. 
Raw, with the skin on, would be almond meal, and blanched, with the skin off, would be almond flour. There you go. If you didn't like any of them, then hopefully you at least got a laugh. Let me know some of your favorite tips in the comments below, and if I use yours in an upcoming recipe video, I'll send you a shaker bottle. I only do these compilations every so often, so if you liked it, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button to help the algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already, so you never miss a video. Follow us on social media, at The Protein Chef, and of course, stay healthy.